Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Learn Linux TV, and welcome back to my Linux Crash Course series. This series covers a Linux-related concept or skill in each video, one per video, and for the most part, you can watch these videos in any order, and that's a good thing because there's a ridiculous number of episodes in this playlist. I mean, just look at it. Anyway, our journey this time around brings us to the sort command, which enables you to, well, sort things. And actually, the sort command is very, very, very simple, and you'll learn it quickly. In this video, I'm going to give you some examples that'll show you exactly how to use it. But before we get to that though, I need to make you guys aware of the fact that the Learn Linux TV Merch Shop has just been updated with brand new products. Inside the shop, you'll find distro themed shirts, bags, drinkware, and more. And there's some other surprises there as well. For example, I've just introduced a mouse pad that doubles as a Tmux cheat sheet. How cool is that? You could get yourself something really cool and support Linux learning at the same time. So it's a win-win. As always, thank you guys for supporting Linux Learning. I really appreciate it. Now, let's check out that sort command. All right, so here I am on my terminal and I'm ready to get started. And this command will be pretty quick and easy to learn. Now, what I've done is I've created some example files off camera. And what we'll do is use those examples with the sort command. First, let's take a look at the first example file. As you can see, it contains a list of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But notice that they're not in alphabetical order. So the first thing we're going to do is alphabetize the list. We'll use sort, and then dash F because we want to sort the contents of a file. And we're going to sort the contents of the first example. Now you'll notice that everything is in alphabetical order. However, Notice that the file has been unchanged. So the sort command is going to grab the contents of the file, sort it, and then it's going to display it via standard output. So basically what happened is this. When we ran this command right here, it grabbed the contents of example1.txt, it read the contents, alphabetized the contents, and then it printed the results to the terminal. However, it did not alter the file. The file is unchanged. Now let's take a look at the next example file. Example2.txt has the following contents. Now in this case, what you'll notice is that Donatello is repeated multiple times. So I guess there's probably no question which one is my favorite. However, as awesome as Donatello happens to be, we really shouldn't have any duplicates here. So what can we do about that? Well, let's use the sort command. And what we'll do is use the dash U option. And what we'll do is execute it against the second example. As you can see, each item is only shown once. And sort-u is actually a very, very good example of the sort command to keep in mind. And one of the reasons why it's so darn useful is if you want to view a log file, it's possible that you might have duplicated log entries in the file. So watch what happens when I use sort-u against slash var slash log slash syslog. I'm going to pipe it into word count dash L. I want to view a line count. In this case, we have a more practical example, something that you might actually want to use on a real Linux server. If you are looking through a log file, for example, it's possible that the log file might have duplicated lines. If it does, it would be a total waste of time for you to go through each duplicated line. So by using the sort command, you could grab a file such as the syslog file, and then what you could do is strip all the duplicates. Now let's take a look at another example of the sort command. And unfortunately, this one isn't going to be the most useful, but it might be a little fun. What we'll do is type sort and then dash capital R. And after that, we're going to give it a file. It doesn't really matter which of the example files we give it at this point. I'll just go ahead and give it the first one. Now you might not immediately see what's different. So let's execute that again. The order is completely different. In fact, check this out. What I'm doing right now is I'm using the watch command, something that I've covered in another video. And what that's going to do is execute a command by default every two seconds. 
So every two seconds, it's executing sort dash capital R and then the file name. And as you can see, the dash capital R stands for random. Every time it runs, it's going to give me a completely random order when it comes to the Ninja Turtles. Now, obviously, it's not going to be a common thing to need a random order. But if you do, you could use the dash R option. Now we'll take a look at another example file. And with this one, I want a predefined order. I have all the Ninja Turtles numbered in the order I want them to appear in, but they're not appearing in that order. So here's what we could do. We could type sort dash n for numeric. And then what we'll do is give it example 4.txt. I'll press enter and watch what happens. As you can see right here, we were able to correct the numbering. Now the thing is though, if we check the contents of the file, like I mentioned earlier, the sort command is not going to make any changes to the file. It's only going to print the output of what the file would have been if you did sort it the way that you executed through the command. However, one thing we can easily do is redirect the output to another file. And there we have the corrected order. How cool is that? And there you go. In this video, we learned the sort command. It's really simple, but it's very effective, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, then please click that like button to let YouTube know that you enjoyed this video. And who knows, if you do that, we might see more Linux on YouTube. That would be awesome. Anyway, thank you guys so much for checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next video.